sugar man Won't you hurry Cause I'm tired of these scenes For a blue coin Won't you bring Back those colors to my dream Silver magic ships you carry Jumpers coke, sweet Mary Jane Sugar man met a false friend on a lonely, dusty road Lost my heart When I found it It had turned to black coal Silver magic ships you carry Jumpers coke, sweet Mary Jane Sugar man, you're the answer that makes my questions disappear. Sugar man, cause I'm weary of those double games I hear. Sugar man, sugar man. Sugar man, sugar man, sugar man, sugar man, sugar man. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So I was very sad to hear about the death of Rodriguez this week, and uh, I just remember the film being very moving and amazing music and such a talent and uh, he you know deserved everything he got in the end and what a great song this is as well as all the other songs on that famous album that he released uh, so if you don't know the movie or you don't know the music go check it out right now and as you can see i just learnt this song and it's a very beautiful song it sounds very similar to other stuff that was kind of written around the time. Um, except the progression is very, very beautiful and it really suits what he's doing. So really, we've got just a handful of chords. They're really straightforward, even though I'm doing the, the bar chords up here. You can play all in open chords. Okay, let's zoom in and have a closer look. So just from watching some footage of him play and, you know, listening, I think I've got pretty much the chords that he's doing. Now, he starts with an A minor. Obviously, you don't have to do the bars. I'll get to the other bit in a sec, in a second. So you can do the bars like this, or you can kind of play it like uh, Stairway to Heaven, that kind of thing, you know. Um, so you've got A minor, right? Or you could just play it there. Okay, I'm just doing a full A minor bar. And then a major minor seven. So all that means is we drop the octave down one to play major, but obviously we've also got the minor in there as well. Okay, exposing the G. So, okay, and then you could use your second finger there to just expose that, okay? however you want to play it. And as he's playing that major minor seven, pop your pinky on that uh, seventh fret on the top E, which plays the B, okay? There you go, so we've got this. Okay, and then just a D minor seven, even though I'm covering the whole bar, I'm not playing the A string anymore, uh, E string anymore, I'm playing the A string. Okay, and then, you know, I see some people on, online writing it as a, a D9. It's not a D9, it's actually, it's a D7. Okay, so that looks like a C shape. You could play it with a, you see me playing it with a bar like this, with the root here, okay. 
but you can play it as a C on the fifth fret between the fifth and seventh fret and just put the pinky on the seventh fret on that G string okay and that's your D7 sorry okay so let's look at the the bar chord kind of intro that he does okay so yeah I'm playing it slightly different to him you could kind of do it like the stairway to heaven kind of chords or you could do it with the bar all right whichever you prefer so it's an A minor to an A major minor seven so all that is is you could put like playing a normal A major move the first thing second finger over one string so when you remove the pinky it reveals that major seven note and what you can do with the pinky is pop it on the B note, which is the seventh fret on the top E. Okay, so you got this. And then I'm playing a D minor seven, like a D minor, just remove the pinky. I'm not playing the bottom E anymore, right? Because the root is here for D. And then we're going to play an E7, okay? So you might recognize the E7, it's like a C, C shaped chord. Uh, all the way up here, put the pinky on the G string. That's an E7, okay? Some people call it an E9. It isn't an E9, otherwise that would be the 9 in there, it's actually a 7. Okay, so I'm, I think that's what he's got going on there. So if I just play it through slowly. You see, I play that, I just leave the bar down, but it's the same thing. And actually on the record, I can hear the open E ringing out. So I have a feeling he kind of, he probably plays it like this. And you can hear that's an E7 there. It's the same chord. So you can kind of resolve it down there. And then we're into the first verse. Sugar man. Okay, again, so we've got this A minor, really nice and straightforward. And then all you do, move the first finger over one string to, from the B to the G, okay? Put the second finger down to replace it, okay? So you've got G and B covered and then your third finger on the second fret on the D string. Okay, so A minor, just practice that one. That's an unusual chord, A major minor seven. Yeah, you can have a major and a minor in the same chord, and that's how it sounds. Okay, and then to a D minor seven, which I'm barring down the top two strings, the first and second string, B and top E, and then second finger on the G string. Play the open D. Okay, and that's D minor seven. You could play it with two fingers there if you found that too awkward just like the previous chord. And then E7. Okay, so let's just go through that again. A minor, A major minor seven, D minor seven, back to E7. Now sometimes I see him playing an F here, but you can't, he plays with quite crooked fingers. So it's either an F or back to the D minor seven, and then E or E seven, it doesn't matter what you use, and then A minor, right? So if I just do the first line, it just repeats. So, sugar man, won't you hurry? Cause I'm tired. So that's where I would do the F or the D minor seven of these E7 scenes A minor 7 and just repeats for a blue coin won't you bring back all those colors to my E or E7 dreams 
So I'm doing, I'm just doing a, a C scale. Okay, G, open A, B, C, silver magic. I'm getting attacked by flies here. So the C, A minor, D major, F, C, A minor, F, this is the hard one, Mary Jane. So he does something like that, okay? So for the Sweet Mary Jane, that's B flat. Now, if you can't do B flat, just do a B flat power chord, B5, B flat five power chord. So first finger, first fret on the A string, third finger, third fret on the D string. And if you wanna get the whole thing, I'm just barring this finger down. So I'm not playing all the notes there. Not playing the top E, okay? And live, I kind of see him doing something like that. First, open, third on the E string, first on the E string, open, down to E. And sugar man. Sugar man. So for the like, outro, I'm just repeating those chords. A minor, A major minor seven, D seven, E seven, and it just goes back. So you've got all the parts there to be able to play the song, okay? Uh, despite all the psychedelic craziness that's going on in the background. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates and please remember, I do not get paid for these lessons due to copyright. Any loose change would be massively appreciated. I've put a PayPal donation button over on my website. Check it out, you can sign up for my newsletter that I send out from time to time. And I've also got some merchandise for sale over there, which I make a small percentage out of. Just helps me out a little bit, guys. Thank you very much for your support. If you'd like to send me a request, hit me up over on Instagram, and I'll see you again at the same time next week. Mm -hmm.